Josh, you're gonna have to unmute yourself because I'm gonna mute everybody. Okay. Okay, good, yes. And Brittany, if anybody wants to talk, go ahead and unmute yourself whenever you'd like to ask a question or talk. Um, so thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, I'm really excited. If you don't have a pen and, and paper, you might wanna get one because I learn so much every time Jess uh, does a, a training on social media because it's something, I don't know about you guys, but it's something that I struggle, not really struggle with, but I can tell that I'm not getting as much interaction anymore and so I wanna know why. Um, so we decided, Jess and I decided we're going to break this down into two parts. So tonight we're going to cover Facebook and next week we're going to cover Instagram, right Jess? That's what we decided. Yeah, there's way too much information and do it all in one thing. Right. Perfect. So, um, and you guys know like Facebook used to be, um, only social for us, right? I mean, it was a social thing and you know, we did a lot of interacting and it's still that, but we have to remember that now this is definitely not just social. This is how we run our business now. So you can't be airing your dirty laundry on Facebook. You have to remember that when you post something, you have to think about what I want, what I buy from that person, you know? And we always say, you want people to fall in love with you and trust you before they even know about your products. And so it's really important that you be careful with what you're posting. And um, we always said before Facebook, what did you do when you were having a bad day? You phoned a friend or you called a mom or something like that. You can't go out there and be like, I hate my, you know, baby daddy's mom or something like that. And then say, you want to buy a rat from me. Um, people aren't going to respect you for that. And, you know, even like all of the election stuff I've been seeing, I'm like, oh my gosh, some of the the people that I've been seeing post some stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, then you're turning around posting about your business, but there's a lot of hate stuff going on right now. So it's, it's kind of sad. It's really sad across the board, but we don't, as business owners, we don't want to be um, portraying that kind of um, reputation. So I'm going to let Jess do all the training here. Um, like I said, you guys got to take the cussing and the, you know, anything that, you know, you wouldn't trust in somebody. I don't, you don't want to be posting that kind of stuff. I know, um, I used to have a distributor, like I, I'm no lie. You guys, she was awesome. She was a spitfire. She was a great distributor, but she talked about porn on her Facebook, like all the time. And it was just, and cussing and just horrible, bad words and negativity. I mean, it, every post was negative and I was just like, Oh my gosh. So yeah, you have to be really careful with what you're posting, but Jess, I'm going to let you take it away and I'm going to be quiet and just fill our buckets. Yeah. I, I feel you on that. I had one distributor, Brittany knows who it is. I'm not going to call this person out, but um, even after numerous times of trying to talk to this girl and let this girl like, know, people don't want to hear that. People don't want to see that on their feed. They're going to start unfollowing you. I actually ended up unfollowing her and she was my own <laughs> distributor and I felt bad, but I couldn't see that every day. Yeah. And on the flip side of that, people that are watching you grow your business, they also are going to go to your page because you're positive, mm -hmm. because there's so many crappy things going on in their life. They kind of go to your page to get away from it all. And I know I've had a few people tell me like comment on like the different like quotes and stuff that I post or different things I post about the kids. And Brittany said the same thing. Like she's had people talk to her and message her just about how positive she is on Facebook. So people do pay attention to that. And you always have to remember that people are watching, whether they're commenting or liking or not doing anything might be six months down the line. They'll message you about hair, skin and nails and they've watched you the entire time. So just have to be very, very, very careful with that. Um, pretty much just basic. I know there's been some talk about business pages and not having a business page. I don't know, Jody, what your take is on business pages. I personally, for myself, I found they've been more trouble than they're worth. Um, I've seen a lot of people have to put money into them in order for them to be seen. Um, you have a less of a rate of people seeing your business posts than you do your personal posts. So for me, I tend to stay away from that. If it works for you, great. But me personally, yeah, I don't have one. I use lists more than I do pages. Yeah. Um, for your profile itself, 
wish I had examples right now, but um, make sure that your profile picture is of you. If it's of like a quote or of something else, or if the picture isn't clear, people sometimes if you add them on Facebook and they don't know exactly who you are, they're not gonna add you back or they're not gonna accept a friend request because they're not gonna know who the heck this person is. Or they might think it's like a spam account, which is starting to pop up more and more on Facebook, unfortunately, just like it was on Instagram. So make sure it's a picture that's easy to see, kind of bright, preferably of you. Um, same goes for backgrounds. It can be quotes, it can be your family. Just make sure it's not like all green and bling everywhere and just projecting it works everywhere. When somebody adds, you add somebody as a friend and they go on your Facebook, they're gonna stalk your Facebook. <laughs> they're gonna check out everything. They're gonna see like where you work, what you do. And if it looks like it's all spammy and just before and afters, most likely they're gonna either block you or just not add you. Mm -hmm. So you wanna get to know them first before they find out that you were a distributor. So. Do you suggest not having your about status say it works distributor? Um, Cause I've heard both ways. I've heard both ways too. Um, definitely make sure in the little like about section, I think I'm trying to think what mine says. I think mine says like mom, um, dreamer and a couple of the things I make sure that like, it works is like the last thing I do have it like where I have, I'm a piercer and it works like under the businesses, but I don't put that like on blast, like in my about section, if that makes sense. Yeah. And can't yeah. you, you can change that privacy setting, right? To like only oh. friends or yeah. 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 That's what I was thinking. Yep. And make sure to, um, I might be all over the place and I apologize. That's okay. But when you're posting, let's say you're doing an, it works post. Um, make sure that you're just having it on your friends. I wouldn't put it public on your page just because for that reason, if somebody you add somebody on Facebook and they will see all of your it works posts and they'll think that that's the only reason that you're adding them, which we want to build relationships. Not obviously we want to make money, but you don't want to just project that that's the only reason why you added them. Right. So, um, background banner and talked about that. Just a lot of inspirational stuff, stuff you want to do. Um, I've seen some people put where they want a vacation as their banner. It works for some people. Um, that's also can work for posts too. If you're having trouble on finding stuff to post, you can post about like what you want to do. Like let's say you got into this business because you want a new car. Post pictures about the car you want. Um, different colors, different models, so people see that that's the goal that you're working towards. The three, three rule is really big. Um, I was doing some research on this a couple days ago and I found there's a couple different ways to do it. Three, three rule is basically you're posting at least three times a day, um, trying to tie everything together. So one could be a business post, having maybe like one of your clients before and afters and how excited you are for their results and you can't wait to see like how their 72 hour results are gonna be. Um, you can also post pictures of, let's say, breakfast in the morning. You're making pancakes and adding the profit. You can take pictures of that with your kids. Um, if you have kids, use them. They are like the greatest tool ever. People love seeing kids and the products. I've sold a lot of stuff just for that reason alone. It helps out a lot. The third post, try to tie it all together. With me... I didn't have a story really, at least I feel like I didn't have a story until recently. Um, I was able to get a new car because of it works three and a half months ago. So that was one of my nighttime posts. I had a before and after, talked about stuff I did in the morning, breakfast with the kids. And then I made a post about the car that I was able to get because of it works. Because honestly, if I didn't have my extra paycheck, I wouldn't have been able to afford a car payment. So try to tie everything together so they can see you're not just spammy and posting, buy my wraps or look what I'm selling today. And people don't want to see that. They want to see the real you and what exactly you're doing with your business. So, And, and I'm going to just throw in here, you guys should, all, like Jess said, don't be spammy. And we always say post about an F word. So faith, family, fun. Freedom, food, food posts that are interactive are huge. 
Um, anything that's interactive is huge, but always think about an F word and make sure, you know, at the end of every day, so that do, did I post about an F word today? You know, um, fashion's a really big one too. Fashion. Yes. I love that. And like, um, it's fun to like post. I know Amber does it often when you post like pictures of fingernails, you know, I'm going to get my nails done today. Which one of these do you like? It's going to get tons of interaction. Then you can go through and like all those posts. I'm sure you're going to talk about this, but make sure you're posting fingernails. <laughs> That's another F word. Um, fashion fingernails. Um, make sure you're posting about, you know, the different F words throughout the day. And that's going to get a lot of interaction too. The holidays too are coming up. I mean, you can start asking questions about what you're going to do with your families. I know Confianza was a big post I did last year for Christmas because everyone gets stressed out about like their families and stuff coming in. You can totally add, I feel like you can add almost anything it works into like a daily life post. Right. And that way you're not being a spammy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hate how there's a lot of these companies out here that add you to their personal pages and you don't even know who this person is half the time and you're added to all these groups and then you have to go back in and like unfollow all of them and it's just a pain in the butt and people hate that. So um, keep in mind too, this is your job now. I mean, Facebook, we all probably spend way too much time on Facebook, but you have to treat it as a job because it's part of your income now. So if you, back to like the beginning, if you wouldn't do something at work, if you would question it, then you probably should think of Facebook the same way. Yeah. And they say like Facebook is the new TV. Like people are not, don't even watch TV anymore. They're on Facebook more than they watch TV. And back to the spamminess, you don't like TV commercials. That's the worst thing about watching TV. People don't want to see spammy commercials about it works products either. So when you incorporate them into your life, it's not so spammy. It's not like a commercial. And you can definitely be intentional. Um, I know thinking about your posts ahead of time, I mean, not everyone has time to do that. Sometimes let's say I'm scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and I get an idea for something, I'll just screenshot it. Just that way, like I can go back to my pictures later and be like, okay, well that would be a good post. And then I'll just pull ideas from that. Same with, I know it's a little dicey when it comes to copy and pasting. If for whatever reason you do copy and paste someone else's post, put it in your own words. For a couple different reasons. One, you don't want the same, like if you have like a group of people and you're seeing the same post over and over again, it comes off as spammy. And two, Facebook is changing the algorithm to where if you post the same post word for word, you're not going to have as many views on your post because too many people already posted that post for that day. So try not to post the same thing. Um, put it in your own words. That reminds me of so many people will take Mike, Mark, and Pam's pictures, and then they'll share the entire post, or they'll share just the picture. Well, when that picture is shared by thousands of people, they either start blocking it, or like you said, nobody's going to see it. So I'll literally take their picture, throw it into a um, collage. Uh, pic collage, and I'll change the background and put my website on it and stuff. It's a totally different picture at that point, you know, and like you said, make it your own. Um, then you know that people are seeing it. You know, those peppermint pictures were insane when they first came out. You know, I grabbed one and put a peppermint background to it, you know, and put my website on it and stuff so it would be unique. A lot of the older um, corporate pictures, I'm ha I was having that issue with too. Yeah. I like had one, like a really old one. I don't even remember what it was. And I tried posting it and it's like, this picture cannot be posted, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, and do you yeah. notice like when, yeah, some things pop back up at, that happens too, where the picture's not even there. Brittany, did you want to say something? Yeah. Just on that topic, I actually watched a video from Amber Parker, um, a couple, I don't know, whatever weeks ago, but she actually made a really good point about, um, like we're all so, so busy and we all feel like, oh my God, like I don't have time to like get a selfie together because I had to pick up 10 kids today and make dinner and everything. So maybe you didn't put your face on today. So one day during the week when you do put your face on and you do look cute, get all of your It Works products together and get some empty bottles from your upline if you don't have any, um, or even do it at like a team meeting or a wrap party before or after, and just take a bunch of pictures that you can start using um, on the days that you don't get ready. 
So um, whether it's a picture of you in the greens or maybe you put them on the table that's in front of you and just take a ton of pictures and stock them up on your phone so that you do can just pull right from your um, camera roll so that you have your own personal pictures. You're not using other people's picture and um, it, a lot of selfies are always good too. So that's brilliant. I, I thought it was great. I actually like how many Peter times said like having like a team party to do it. So I'm like planning on doing that with our team. So sorry team, I just spoiled alert, but um yeah. No, <laughs> I thought it was just, how many times how many do you change oh, clothes? I didn't it. make yeah. my it works post yet today and I look like death. Dog crap. Yeah, you're like that's not happening. Right. <laughs> so it ends up in my hand. <laughs> like Jocelyn Yates or someone had or Ashley Sinclair, one of them, they said that they physically sometimes have like a week where a couple days they'll wear like, they'll take a bunch of selfies and they'll have like, they'll put their hair up, they'll put their hair down and like change their shirts and stuff. That way they don't have to do it like for the week. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah that's it's brilliant. Sweet. She even said, like, one thing I thought was so crazy, she said, um, for, like, holiday season, so, like, she went to, like, the dollar store and bought, like, a ton, ton of, like, holiday stuff, so, like, holiday colors or holiday decorations and stuff, and is making posts, um, like, and, like, putting stuff on the floor and putting all the um like holiday decorations around her products, so it looks, like, holiday-themed, um, and she even took, like, um, paper and, like, I don't even know, like, paper that looks like it would be, like, your um, top your countertop like a really nice like marble countertop they have like paper that like looks like that so she literally bought like these 50 cent like papers and she just puts them on the ground and it looks like they're like amazing tabletops and it's literally a 50 cent piece of paper and she just uses them on the days when she takes a bunch of pictures and she's able to kind of make it into like her own so guys just like be creative like go around your house like I look like sometimes I've used like my carpet in my bathroom because I think it's like really cute so, like use the things around your house like use your the props that you have use your holiday decorations around your house like gather it all together and just spend a day or even an hour of your power hour one day during so sorry I just thought that was a really cool idea so. I love that I love that awesome idea I know Jody you said sometimes you Facebook doesn't work for you or you're not getting as much interaction mm -hmm. um, a couple things you can try is adding more people um, or try posting different times I mean I can't remember what they are off the top of my head I know dinner time is a big one um, when the kids get out of school lunch time for some people at work. Um, if one time that you're posting isn't working, try like a different time. Mm -hmm. Some people work different hours, different shifts. I know there's a lot of moms that after nine is usually like when they're on Facebook and when they start looking through everything. And it's a really good time. If you're targeting, trying to sign new distributors, that's usually when I post those posts because I notice I get the most interaction with them. So. Um, can you talk a little bit about lists? Because I was going to say something, but if people don't understand what lists are, then they're not going to get it. Lists are basically, you can make little kind of subfolders on Facebook, like kind of like groups almost, but you can put your different, like, let's say you have people that you just added to your Facebook and they accepted your friend request and you can have like new friends that you just added and you'll have like a little list. Is that the list that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you'll have lists for them. So obviously you just added, let's say 10 people on Facebook. They all accepted your friend request. You don't want to go to every single one of their pages and be like, Hey, I feel it works. I'm a rat. Like it won't work that way. You should go on their Facebook pages. Actually, if you click on their list, um, when you add them as a friend, there is a button for more, I believe it is. And then you click on that and you can add them to certain lists that you make, or you can create a list. So let's say you've added 10 new friends, you've added them to that new friend list. You can literally just click on that list and one, you can make a post that only they will see or two, you can like or comment on all their statuses and it's in one place where you don't have to go searching for those specific people. Yeah. And you can do the same with potential DTs. You can make a list for them. You can make a list for potential loyal customers, um, anything really. I mean, if you want to get really fancy, you can like separate it into the types of DTs. Like these are like the college kids or like the moms, like you can pretty much customize it any way you want. Yeah. So when you make a post, so you guys have these lists and you want to do it now, like I had 
3,500 people when I decided to make my list. So I went through 3,500 people and categorized them. So, but what you can do is when you create these lists, you can, like she said, post that only specific people are going to see this. So if you guys all go to my wall, you're not going to see tons of it work stuff because I'm posting that. So my prospects can see it. My loyal customer list can see it. My potentials can see it. So my posts go directly to the specific list that I want to see. Then what's really neat is you can click on the button that says feeds and it's going to give you all of your lists. And I'm going to be like, okay, I'm really wanting to recruit distributors this week. So I'm going to click on my list that says dist potential distributors. And I'm going to go through all of those people and I'm going to start liking and commenting on their walls. So I'm going to look at the feeds and it's going to say, show who, who posted, mm -hmm. who people are in that group that have posted, what they've posted. And I can go through and I can like and comment and send them little messages. Oh, I'm so sorry your dad had surgery. How's he doing? You know, and you can go through and interact with all these people. Well, guess what that's doing? That's moving them up to see more of your stuff. Right, Jess? Yep. Okay. But the best part about it, like you, they will see all of your posts before they see anyone else's because you're the person that's pretty much liking, commenting, interacting with them the most. Yes. And so like you guys think about how much you interact with your it works team and your it works friends. So guess what? Those are the people who are seeing all of your posts. Those aren't the people you want to see your posts. You want the people who are not in this business to see your posts or not buying products to see your posts. That's why the lists are so important. Because what is it? Is it four or seven percent even sees your post in your? I think it's almost down to two percent now for some stuff. Percent. It's gotten really low, especially wow. they keep changing it every day. And that's something else too. You just reminded me. You guys are probably not going to like this, but other than your direct upline, and maybe like your upline above them, you need to unfollow It Works distributors. It sucks. It's helpful looking at their posts. I know it helps. However, that is what you're going to see on your feed. You should not see a bunch of It Works posts on your feed. You should be seeing all the potential people that are out there for you to talk to. So. Yeah, I have like five or 600 friend requests sitting there. And because I didn't know that I could, I mean, way back, I didn't know that I could confirm the friend request and then unfollow them. I was like, my newsfeed's a hot mess. It's all at works distributors. And I don't even see my friends and family anymore. And so I still have all 500 of them sitting there and they're, they're all at works distributors pretty much. But, um, so, but yeah, that's what I do. So now if an at works person that I meet wants to be friends, I'll accept it and then immediately unfollow them, them so that I don't have to see all of the, their newsfeed. So do you yeah. guys understand why you want to do that so that you're not, seeing all their stuff and it's not cloud in your newsfeed. And something too, you have to be patient with the lists. It's not going to magically help you over time. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while. Also, depending on how many people you have on your Facebook. Um, if you don't have, I want to say it's at least 1200 friends on Facebook, start adding people because it's going to take time for you to build the lists up and it's going to take, I don't want to say like a few months, but I mean, sometimes it does. Um, Facebook and social media and Instagram and everything does work. However, you need to make the time to do it because if you don't spend time on it, it's not going to help. So um, it's not like a quick fix type thing, but if you do it correctly, it helps out a great deal and it helps if you are still at a regular J-O-B. Right. So. And so when you, if there's, okay, say you have five prospects that you're really working on, make sure you're liking and commenting on their stuff. And just so that you see if they had a bad day, you can message them and be like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear you, hear you had a bad day. How are you doing tonight? You know, or, you know, I'm sorry, your little boy is, is sick. How's things going? But private message them, mm -hmm. right? Private message them. But, you know, like, comment, love on their stuff so that, you know, they're seeing your things and, and, you know, you're having that interaction with them. Compliment them too. Yeah. Sometimes even with private messaging, if you have the time, um, if you see someone is busting their butt as a single mom and they're doing great and they're still staying positive, let them know. Some people don't get reassurance like that and it means the world to them just for one person to make note that they actually saw that they're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. Franca brought up a good point in the chat. There are a couple different apps 
where you can schedule posts. Don't get overwhelmed with it though. Um, my best advice would be to work on the list first. Then once you've got that part down, then start like going into the different apps. Hootsuite is a good one and Buffer is a good one. Those are the only two that have actually worked decently for me. Um, I know Buffer doesn't quite, I don't think it has as many social media networks like that you can be on. I think Hootsuite has more, but you kind of have to play around with it. But you can schedule posts. So if you have, let's say you have one day off where you're kid free and you have the few hours to set aside time to do all the posts for the week, you technically could. The only downfall is, let's say you make all those posts, you do have to follow up with those people. Because if people comment on it and you don't follow up with them, it's not helping your business. Yeah, you wasted your time, yeah. So following up is a big thing. And sometimes you have to follow up more than once. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Brittany. I have a just a tip too. Um, guys, I probably do 90% of my business through social media. And I think um, a lot of good points that Jess is making, I'm going to kind of like tie it all together. Like when you're on social media and you have a lot of black, green, and bling on your social media page. Um, for me, like I was like, okay, I need to post like this person. Oh, I need to post like this person. But honestly, it, it made me forget who I was. Mm -hmm. I was trying so hard to be everybody else because I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great post. And so I was trying to do what everybody else does. But guys, you're in this business and people are attracted to you. People are attracted to who you are and who who you are and, and what you can bring to them. So um, I encourage you guys to, you know, if you want to look at a couple other people's, um, that's fine, but don't have all black, green, and bling because it's going to distract you from trying to be yourself. Um, one of my biggest things that I talk to my team about a lot is that you have to be you. Like in this business, no matter what, you have to find what you're really good at and run with it. So I love that I'm always sharing positivity, encouragement, and motivational stuff because people around the world are attracted to positivity, encouragement, and motivational stuff. And that's, that's, just, that's just life. Like people want to be motivated because there's so much negativity and junk on our Facebook feed. When there's positivity stuff, people want to know, want to see that more. So I think that that in general is really helpful. Um, but also when you're making a post, like what attracted you? Like, cause we didn't talk much about like, we're talking about the F's and like how to post to the you know, F things. But when you're actually making the post itself, remember that, sorry, Nick just got on the floor. Okay. Sorry. Um, so when you're making a post about anything, just remember that, um, what attracted you to that product or what attracted you to this business and post about it. So like if you love that the thermo fit gives you a bunch of energy, post about the thermo fit giving you energy. Um, if you love that the greens um, make you feel better and you haven't been able to get, you haven't gotten sick, post about that. Um, if you haven't used any of the products, maybe you're brand new and you haven't used the products before, go on your e-suite and look at the products. What do those products do? Like the exfoliating peel. Did you know that the little green beads in it are actually aloe vera and it helps replenish the younger, healthier skin underneath? Like simply you could make a post just on that and have a picture of you with the exfoliating peel or just a picture of the exfoliating peel. So remember what the products are and what they do and what attracted you to them and, and, and be excited about everything that you do in this business because your passion and your excitement is what's going to sell. So um, just in social media in general, just try to remember who you are. Um, and be you, be excited, um, be positive, be encouraging, um, and, and people are going to be drawn to that on your, on your Facebook page. And obviously, everything you guys said about making lists, following up, interacting, you have to do all of that. But when it comes to actually, like, posting on social media, make sure you're, you're posting good stuff, too. You know what that reminded me of, too? Do you, I remember when we got trained um, by J.E. when we were in Florida, and, yeah. he, and he talked about when you go to make the post, picture the person that you're yes. posting it for. Mm -hmm. If it's the single mom in Aldi's with two kids hanging on her, adding up, you know, the groceries in her head, scared, wondering if she's going to have enough to pay. What time of day is it? What is she wearing? You know, picture who you're exactly posting for and what that person looks like and 
make that post so in depth from your heart that it will reach that person. It'll be so relatable. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Like I made a post the other day about, um, I remember, Oh, the Christmas cash. So we have the Christmas cash. Um, and I remember what it was like being, you know, 17 teen mom just got married. You know, we had this house with, you know, I just, I went back to where I was and I wanted to let them know that, you know, I know what it feels like to not know how you're going to pay for Christmas, Christmas only to put it on credit cards and then spend the next, you know, six months trying to pay off the Christmas that you didn't have the money. You know what I mean? Like I went back to where I was and I, you know, wanted it to be so heartfelt for all those single moms out there or teen moms or, you know, so really get into the moment when you're making a post. I know some of us get caught up in, oh crap, I didn't make my third post for the day. Let's slap something up there. And um, people know like when it's genuine or when it's salesy. You can do that with the products too. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's say Confienza. You can say, even if I know when I first started, I didn't have the money to buy anything, like none of the products. But if you make a post about it, what you're going to do with it, how it's going to help you, um, <laughs> the Confienza, I made a post that I just ordered some and that I was going to be okay with my kids being obnoxious and crazy and I wasn't going to drive me nuts and how it was going to help me. People can relate to that too. Um, it goes the same for the wraps. Like tell how it's going to help you, what you're going to tighten, tone, and firm, what you're excited about. Like if you have like a wedding coming up or a special event or anything like that, you can relate it to any of the products pretty much. Yeah. And, and all of you moms, I mean, take your $25 wrap cash and put it on a can of formula and say, I just bought this can of formula. You know, I just, you know, sold a wrap and it was able to pay for my baby's formula or take, you know, 50 bucks and put, put it on a, a pack of a case of diapers. And I just, you know, thank goodness I sold two wraps today because it took care of paying for diapers for the month. Um, you your yeah. Groceries. yeah, groceries, gas. You know, talk about if you've been there, I remember what it was like to have to add up groceries in your head only to get there, get to the checkout and have to put some back because I didn't have enough money. You know, I no longer have to worry about that or, you know, make it very relatable. I can't go out there and post about how I, you know, fly my family at 12 to Myrtle Beach for seven days and you know that we paid cash for that people can't relate to that that's not even relatable um it wasn't even that was only ever a dream for me that wasn't relatable if somebody would have told me that i'd have been like yeah right you know um so also you can post pictures about taking like let's say your office for the day so you're taking little ones to the park yeah. take a picture of that um i was able to go <laughs> Both of my son's performances last week, I took pictures of that and put it up. I mean, normally I'd be working 12 hour shifts at the tattoo shop and I wouldn't be able to take off the time to go to their performances. I normally miss them. Yeah. So I mean, you can pretty much make it about anything. Yeah. I did that yesterday with Maddie's college visit. I'm like, I'm so glad I don't have to take off of work to be able to spend the day, you know, taking her to prepare for her future. So yeah, things like that, that people want to do, you know, that they can, cannot imagine. Brittany? I feel like I'm in school. I know. You don't have to raise your hand. You can just interrupt us. <laughs> I don't want to show you at all. I mean, I'm kind of like segueing into like kind of another subject, but um, on what you guys are saying, um, everyone, you have to be consistent in your posting. You have to be consistent. And I know we're talking about like a three, you know, the three rule or, um, is Nick so loud? Can, is he like echoing? Can you hear him? We can hear him a little bit. That's okay. Not really. Sitting like right next to me and like go somewhere else. <laughs> He's talking to his dad. He can't. His dad can't hear. <laughs> so, mm. okay. You have to be consistent um, posting on social media um, because if you're if you're not consistent on social media, then how do people know what you're doing? How do they know that you're passionate about it? And if you start if you stop posting people are going to stop following you because your, your stuff's not popping up. So um, I always start with my team. Like if you've never got into social media, start just trying to be consistent with like two posts a day. Like really, really try to be consistent. Anything that you think is realistic for you, be consistent with it and do it and do it 110%. But you have to start somewhere. And then you can always work up to two posts a day, three posts a day, four posts a day, five posts a day. And obviously not all of that is about it works, but it's just being consistent on social media. Guys, I've gotten to the point in my business now where if I don't post like 
a couple weeks ago, my grandpa was really sick and I didn't post on social media for a couple days and not even telling anyone what had happened. People were messaging, asking if everything was okay. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm literally posting on social media all the time. Like, they're like, oh my gosh, like, are you hurt? Are you something wrong? So like people are following you, even if they're not liking your post or commenting, like they're saying this whole thing. You just have to be consistent because people are watching your journey and they want to know what you're doing. They want to know. And, and another thing, guys, is like you were saying about like, um, like you got your car, like put that vision out there. Where are you going? People where there is no vision, people will perish. So people want to know where you're going. People want to know where you can take them, bring them on this adventure with you every single day. Every, like you guys are saying, post to the, um, the, the grocery store, post about going to your kids' um, school recitals, about school college visits, whatever it is, bring them on their adventure with you because people like excitement and people like fun and people are going to be attracted to the fun and the excitement that you're having and, and where you're going with this business and what it's bringing you and what you're projecting this business will do. It'll yeah. also keep your mind on the prize too. <laughs> you know what I love, what you just said, and it just made me think about a challenge we did, oh my gosh, probably five years ago when I first started. So this is what I'm going to challenge all of you guys to do. I want you to either pick a car, your dream car, or a dream vacation, or some big dream. Like we always say, our dreams have to be limitless, right? So I want you to pick something that seems out of reach, but you know someday it's gonna happen, and I want you to go get inside that dream. So if it's a convertible, go to the dealership, Tell them you want to test drive it, sit in it, have them take your picture and post it on Facebook. Dreaming big, can't wait to have this someday. Go to AAA or go print a picture or something for your dream board of Tahiti or wherever you want to go and say, on my dream board, can't wait for this dream to come true. So I want you guys to do that. And I want that to be one of your social media posts this day. But before you just go out and post, you know, this is where I want to go on vacation someday, really get inside that dream. Who are you taking with you? You know, when is it going to happen? What, where are you going? What color is the car? Go find the color. Go, you know, how fast does it go? You know, post about it and check in. If it's a BMW dealer, you go sit in that car and you check in and you, you know, say dreaming big today. Um, that's huge because like Brittany said, you're taking people along with you. Um, so I challenge all of you to do that sometime very soon and, and post on Facebook. Um, Tammy, I think that was you that might've asked. Hi, Tammy. Tammy, Tammy. Um, so Tammy asked if somebody likes your, um, a product, like you make a product post and if somebody likes it, do you message them? I always do. And this is what I do. I private message them and say, Hey girl, Hey, how are you? I just want to thank you for the love on my post about Thermofit. Have you ever tried it? Um, you don't have to say, have you ever tried it right away? Just, you can say, thank you for the love of my post. I absolutely love the thermo fit. Um, how's it going? Or, you know, you can do some interaction talking before you even ask them if they've ever tried it. Just kind of depends on where they're at. Um, that kind of comes down to the color personalities too. You know, are they a fun, crazy person? Be like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. You know, I, it gives me so much energy or whatever. We need to get rid of them the picture too. <laughs> what? Sometimes I send them the picture too with a message. Yeah. I mean, some people send so many messages, especially on Instagram, and they can't remember whose post they commented on. Uh -huh. So sometimes I'll add the picture that they commented on too, just yeah. to kind of like refresh their memory. That's a good idea. They commented on. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, what else did I want to? Oh, oh, oh. Going back to so if you're. I'm just going to throw something in about blitzing. So when you're out blitzing and you add, get somebody's contact right away by adding them on Facebook, it's a really great time to go ahead and screenshot that ad. So you remember that, okay, when I get home, I need to make sure I add them to my prospect list or add them mm -hmm. to my new lead, my new friends list or whatever. So that way you have them. And that way it's already in your phone too. So you can go through and go like, Oh gosh, I have to follow back up with them. I have to, you know, say, Hey, it was great meeting you today, you know, and interact with them. Your little boy is so cute. I couldn't, couldn't help but think about how much fun you guys were having when I met you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you always remember then that you have that person to interact with. I love um, the books that people are keeping contact, you know, keeping their contact information in when they are adding on Facebook because then you can go back and be like, oh yeah, I didn't interact with them today. Um, so 
you can have that Blitz book or Facebook book, Facebook book. <laughs> so you remember, cause I think we add so many people we forget, oh shoot, I got to follow back up with that person. It's been a couple of days since I've interacted with them. Um, cause remember we're always creating relationships with these, these people to keep building our business. Um, Jess, anything else? I'm trying to think. What's some of the new like rules and stuff like with Facebook that, is there anything that is out that are people still using hashtags? Yes. Okay. Hashtags are becoming bigger on Facebook, just like they are on Instagram. Um, something you can do with Facebook too, and this kind of ties on Instagram, but you can search hashtags on Facebook. I was trying to, I was trying to do that last night. I was trying to look for the, the, the trending hashtags. How do you do that? Uh, the trending, I don't know, but I've just, what I've noticed that a lot of people comment on, on Instagram, I've been searching on Facebook and then it'll bring up first the people that you're friends with. Like if they are using those hashtags or searching those hashtags, then after that, it'll start bringing up people that like you're not friends with. And that also helps if like you have a couple mutual friends, then you can still add them as a friend just because you know what I mean? Like you kind of know a couple people and then it also sparks up whatever you're interested in. You also should look for like-minded individuals. You know what I mean? Like, let's say you don't want to search people that like crocheting. If you're not into crocheting with me, um, I, I do search for a lot of other moms that like, like tattoos and piercings and stuff. So I mean, that also ties into what I like and what I do. So I always have more to talk about too. So how are you searching for them? I'm um, just the top of their search bar on Facebook. You're typing in uh, whatever you're looking for. Um, the hashtags of just tattooed, tattooed moms. So um, you put the hashtag symbol in and then type something in. I usually just type the words in. Okay. And it usually just comes up that way. Okay. But, I mean, I haven't used that a whole lot. I use it more on Instagram than I do on Facebook, but I haven't really like messed with it too much. Yeah. Do you guys know how hashtags work? I figure most of you probably do. Um, so like if you hashtag, um, it works and somebody clicks on the, it works hashtag that you put in there, they're going to see all the, it works posts. Mm -hmm. Um, just, I told you, I clicked on one of yours the other day. Cause I'm like, Oh, I love her hashtags. So I clicked on one and then I got to see like all these cool posts that you had made about people that you had pierced or, you know, stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'm like, that's so cool. So like if you're consistent with your hashtags and they click on your hashtag, they're going to see all the posts that you made about that. So like, you know, Instagram, you're always, you know, hashtagging like facials, health and wealth, you know? So even if you're making like last yesterday or the other day when I was making an it works post, I was hashtagging presidential election. <laughs> you know, I was hashtagging the trending hashtags because that's what people are searching for. And guess what pops up in the middle of an election post? Jody's it works post, you know, so they're thinking they're looking for election stuff. And then there I am in black, green and bling out of nowhere in the middle of all this red, white and blue election crap. <laughs> and there you are talking about confianza. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So hashtags do work. Like I, I love to use hashtags and just to see what everybody else is posting about. So, um, try to use those. It brings in different people too, that normally wouldn't like look at your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have something else too, guys. Um, another thing that uh, you guys, I don't, I don't think we mentioned, but something to make your posts be more seen. Um, there's when you go to post something on your status, you'll see that there's a bunch of different little icons on there. Like there's a smiley face for the activities and the, the feelings and all of those guys try to utilize those as much as you can. I think we use the analogy. I think Jess, you said like, if you scratch Facebook's back, then they'll scratch yours. So mm -hmm. basically the more of those that you use, the more that your post is going to be seen. So in, if you guys look through my posts and I know Jess's, if you see like how you're feeling, like I always say how I'm feeling in 99% of the time. It's exciting. Exciting. But I mean, um, other than that, I'm, I'm always tagging somebody in my post. And then um, I'm also, if I can use the location of where I am, I'm using that. And then always trying to use a picture. So the more of those things you can use, the, 
the more your posts are going to be seen. Yeah. So like you can go to feeling, so like feeling excited and then you can check in at wherever you're at. Like I usually do when I check in at OIO, I'm like feeling nervous at OIO. That's where my doctor is, you know? So yeah, like you said, you're, you got pictures, you got selfies, you got the emojis, you got the activity, you got your check-in. So yeah, like you said, that's going to get people seeing your posts more. And then if you tag somebody in it, that's even better. So that's a good point that you brought that up. Uh, get too, they want to know like what you're doing at where you're at. Right. You don't, <laughs> you don't leave it vague. They're just like, Oh, well, what's going on? Well, what are you doing? Well, so it helps you know, people start a conversation too. Do you know how many people I've had say, where are you going this month? Like I live vicariously through your trips. <laughs> and it's because they're watching you. It's because like, you're checking in everywhere. <laughs> I had a girl who is a piercer who I met in Vegas a couple years ago at conference. And she, when I first started at works, I, of course, like I messaged everyone and she was just like, it's a pyramid scheme. Stop posting or stop adding me in your post. And I don't want to see them and I'm going to unfollow you and blah, 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 blah. And then two weeks ago I made a post that post that has been going around about, um, wanting to wear like what if you could just like post stuff on Facebook wear cute clothes and like that post and she private messaged me and was like so do you actually make money ah! oh my gosh. <laughs> and I was like uh-huh uh-huh yeah scheming scheme huh yeah like, and she's like, well, what, let me what, tell you all about it how do they work and I was like see like it, it took her over a year but people are always watching yes yes so, I have one more yeah. thing Another thing, guys, um, just in general, I feel like we've given you guys, like, a ton of info tonight. Um, something that I think is really helpful for me is, like, making a to-do list. I mean, this is something I do every day. Like, a six list is what we call it. Um, but doing six things to build your business every day. Um, making a point of, like, one of them is social media. So not only posting, but a lot of the things that we're talking about. So um, interacting with, you know, commenting on 10 people's statuses liking 20 people status and um, following up with five people and then making your three posts a day so um, it seems like a lot but when you make it into like a checklist like that sometimes it's not you can literally like 20 people in like maybe a minute <laughs> like it doesn't take very long at all so if you kind of just put it into your daily routine or put it in your power hour that you do every day um, or do it when you go to bed or add 10 people before you go to bed um, the more you're growing your following and the more you make it consistent it's only going to make your business grow faster love it does anybody else have anything you want to add oh can we we should talk about Brittany you should talk about going live how you how you build your business. <laughs> You're the pro at that. Um, I love live videos. <laughs> yeah, talk about online video or going live videos and yeah. Um, okay, so going live is uh, you guys probably all know what live videos are. Um, the reason why they're so beneficial is that people are lazy and they don't want to read, so sometimes watching a video is easier. Um, so if you're having like a really awesome day, like I, one thing I want to say about live videos is I don't, I personally do not think that they're beneficial to do every single day. I think that people go live just to like show that their cat's on the floor or something. Like, I don't know if I would go live every single day to show every single thing, but, um, when you're having a really awesome day and you're in a really great mood and maybe your kids are doing something funny or, um, maybe the cat is doing something funny. I don't know, whatever. But if you're having a really awesome day, that's when I would go live because people want to, again, they're attracted to that positivity and that energy and that excitement. And when you're having a really great day and you're, you're on point and you're just, you have something that you want to share with the world. That's when I go live. Um, and my, my live videos are typically about health and wellness, um, or about it works or the products or what the products have done for me. Um, and one thing I think is helpful is I know a lot of us get like super nervous when we go live. Um, the first time I went live, I didn't know that it was actually live, like literally as soon as I hit the live button. So I like started and people started popping up and talking and I'm like, <gasps> and I started talking really fast and then I like turned it off like 30 seconds later because <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So uh, I could totally relate to like being nervous when you do your first one. But um, what I do now that's helpful is I actually make, again, a list um, of what I want to talk about. Um, the most seen videos and the ones that are watched the most are videos that are um, anywhere from like two to three minutes, I think it is. It's like the shorter, the better. 
So um, you don't want to ramble like I do sometimes because I talk a lot. Um, really being short and effective um, is really, really helpful because people want to see those. So like, for, like I said, that for me, that's really helpful to make a list of exactly what I'm going to talk about. So for example, Jody was just talking about like the rat cash and how we have, oh my gosh, if you join our team now and you sign four customers, the company's literally going to give you a hundred dollars cash, like just to pay off Christmas cash. Like that's something I could literally make a post about and just talk about how we have so many products that are, that are life changing. And I can definitely, you know, why that hundred dollars would be helpful for Christmas cash. So just being very effective with your video is helpful. Um, very to the point, I guess, with your video. Um, also, when you're doing a video, have a catchy um, saying when you put it across there. Don't just put rap cash because people are not going to know what that means. Um, <laughs> yeah, emojis. Yeah. Um, like, I don't even know. I don't even know a good one. I don't even know what I said before, but I don't know. Like, I said, like, a funny poop story or something one time because I was talking about regular and that's like one of my favorite <laughs> products. So, I did that one time. Um, I talked about, I did one live video about Nick's Crohn's disease um, and how some of the products are really um, helping his health. So I just said Nick's story with his Crohn's disease. So um, that's not a good example though. I'm sorry. I'm not, but be creative. I'm not creative guys, but be creative and be like funny and people want to click on it. So don't, just don't be boring like I am sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like, know with that, this. that just made me think of like when they tell you when you're making a post, like I always do like the emoji, like the big eyes or like um, the one covering his eyes or something. So it'd be like, oh my gosh, this just happened. Mm. Like, or holy crap. I mean, like I'll put something so that people are going to want to read what the rest yeah. of the post says. Same right. thing for live videos. You can do something like so catchy so that they want to read it um, or watch it. Or even funny. Like if it's something funny, like it, I don't know why, but like literally if I talk about poop, everyone watches it. I get so many likes where I'm just like, oh my gosh, guess what this like crazy poop story. Like, I don't know. Like for some reason people want to watch it. So if you're just like, holy cow, my kids are bouncing off the walls. I don't know. Like, guys, help me here. I'm not, this creative thing is just, my brain's done right now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, something that is, yeah, like you said, jump out and like grab you kind of thing. Yeah. But just most important when you're doing a live video, just be excited um, and make them short and sweet and um, effective with what you're trying to get across. Yeah. And don't do them every day. Because it's not as exciting if you do them every day. <laughs> but if you go a week or two without making them, they're going to wonder what's wrong with you. <laughs> I was telling Nick, like, every couple days I think is really good. Yeah. Because then, it, like, because, I mean, realistically, do we have awesome, awesome days every single day? Prob I mean, yeah, sometimes. We all do. Brittany right? Walker, you do. Um, yeah, clearly. It was just, <laughs> life's awesome every day. But, <laughs> um. I, I mean, on the really good days is when I would go live um, because that's when you can share your heart and really have the best videos. Right, right. Okie dokie. Does anybody have any questions? If you guys want to unmute yourself, if you have questions, this would be the time to do it. There was something that somebody said. Deb, first time you go live, it literally goes to everyone in your feed, yes? Don't use music for lives. Facebook will not play it. Really? That's good to know. I didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, that does happen. It says that you're like, I used a Justin Timberlake song, like, um, just can't stop the feeling. And it said that I was like trying to like steal his music or something. <laughs> and I was like, no, I wasn't. I just spent a whole video of eight minutes and you're going to tell me I can't post it. <laughs> so. Hey, I know what it's something I wanted to bring up. Um, so if any of you are new, most of you aren't, but you obviously realize we can't post it works stuff on Facebook, like your links, you can't post those on Facebook. Even some of the forward with mask and GoDaddy's are not working anymore. Um, so a good way to do that is just put spaces between it. If you're sending it to somebody or send your website on a picture, you can send it that way. Um, I like to use the solid black dot. So I'll put like mine's wrappinghealthy.com. So I'll put www and then that big black solid dot and then wrapping healthy and the big dot and then com. Um, but you, there are ways of getting around it. 
I just tried forwarding something to somebody that it works had sent me in an email and it had it works on, you know, it had their link. And of course it deletes it because you can't send anything with the it works link. Um, so just to kind of let you know some different ways to share, to be able to share that way. Um, what else? Trying to think. You guys know that you're not allowed to be posting in rummage sale sites. No, it works products. No, none of that in rummage sale sites. You are not allowed to do that. Um, I get people a lot of the times messaging me saying so and so is posting in a rummage sale site. It's it's against compliance. If you have time and want to turn them in, you can. But I I have I'd rather work on building my own business, you know, and hoping that you know they would just build their business with integrity and follow the rules. A lot of people don't even know they're not supposed to be doing that. So. Um, yeah, Billy, you're not going to be able to send anything on Messenger either. You have to put, put spaces in your link or put it on a picture. So. I just ask people for their number. Mm -hmm. Hey, Facebook won't allow me to send it because it's um, – because um, Facebook thinks it's a business. So if you want to send me your number real quick, I'll send you my website. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Or send them a voice message. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I love – oh, yeah. That's a voice message. Yeah. So if somebody talks to you, so if somebody messages you, like the, the chick that messaged um, Jess about the, her post, so the best way to respond to them is get on voice message on Messenger and let them know your excitement because people cannot feel your excitement through a text or through a message. So I use that all the time. In fact, most of the time it's because I'm driving or something else, but you know, you can just hold that microphone in and just um, record them a message. Um, it's only a minute long and that's okay. You know, you can show your excitement in a minute, but you can, you know, record a couple of them. But I think that's huge because it just shows them that you care about them and that you're really excited and you can't, you know, wait to talk to them about it. Or you can just message them and be like, Hey girl, Hey, thanks for the love on my post. How are you today? You know, they can hear your sincerity in your voice versus just typing them something. Um, Keep creating that, those relationships. Like I said, make people fall in love with you before you even bring up the business or the products. And that's how we're supposed to build this business is just by, you know, they say go back and forth in a conversation 10 or 12 times with somebody before you even bring up the products, unless they've messaged you about them to begin with. And I'm talking about just, you know, creating that relationship through, through messaging. So... Okay, guys, hopefully you all learned a lot. Um, make sure, so here's your post for tonight. If you didn't, take a screenshot of, of the your computer screen or whatever and let people know. Had fun with my It Works family tonight. Love that we can do our meetings online with my friends from all over the world. I'm trying to think where everybody is. Gosh, everybody's all over the place. Kentucky, Ohio, New Mexico, Indiana, Florida. Shannon's from Florida. So. All right, guys. I, what's that? Somebody say something? No? Okay. Um, I will um, get this recording out for all your team members who missed it. I'm from Connecticut. What? Oh, Connecticut? I'm from Connecticut. I didn't know where you were. That's awesome. Yep. Sorry, I forgot that. You love your new necklace? Yes, I do. I have it on. Oh, I love it. You guys, I still have the jewelry party open. Um, it's going to be open until Sunday night. We, I really am trying to hit 2,500 in sales because our percentage goes up on the amount of money that we get to give to feed a billion to feed the hungry. So if you guys even know anybody who would be interested in the jewelry, it doesn't have to be it works jewelry. There's like hundreds and hundreds of clicks and it's so affordable. Like the bracelets I are it on my timeline. I know that's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, you have to invite people to the events because most of them are private. So I don't know if they're going to be able to open them on your timeline, Franca. Okay. So you might have to like privately just go ahead and invite people if they're interested. Um, but that jewelry is so awesome and it's so interchangeable and it's only 10 cents a meal to feed these kids. So the, if, when our percentage goes up, then we can feed that many more. So um, I'm really excited with, with the amount that we've had so far. Um, but if you guys, you know, talk to anybody about it or share your jewelry with people, we can get, get it ordered. And they're shipping it out like the day you order it. I work. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it, it creates so much conversation. Like I have my It Works um, necklace on today. 
I had, you know, people asking me about it left and right, just from my, I love your necklace. And I'm like, Oh, thanks. Have you ever heard of it works? Like I totally ignored the necklace part of it and went into the business part. Um, so it's a great conversation piece, especially when you wear the blingy stuff. Um, and, Oh, I just took mine off. They have diamonds. They have a big diamond shape now and new lime green stones. So they have all kinds of fun stuff. But, um, so yeah, so make sure you guys are placing orders if you want. Shop for yourself or for others or for gifts for your team. So those things are awesome too. You can get them for different sports teams and everything. Oh yeah. I know I got mine when we had the Columbus training. I still have like so many like different ones. Yeah. They're all interchangeable. I love them. Did you see for ten bucks they have the stand that you can put all your clicks in? Oh my gosh, I need that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ten dollars, and you can put all your clicks on it. And so when you go on vacation, you just throw the stand in your suitcase. It's flat, and it That's has awesome. all your clicks on a board. It's on a board, so it can either lay flat or you can put it in the stand and take it with you wherever you go. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So okay, well I won't keep you guys anymore tonight. Thank you guys for getting on for growing your business. Remember to share your business with everybody, and I love you. Have a great week. Next week, we'll be back talking about Instagram, and that's, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So thanks, Jess, for pouring into us. I'm Brittany. You're welcome. All right, everybody have a good rest of your week. Good night, Jody. Good night, Brittany. Bye.